ultimately, at the highest level of golf, we, we need to feel the game. But what we can actually do is that we can, we can uh, close the club face with the rotation of our body like this, so that we come through and we're hitting it like this. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm in the backyard of John Erickson. There's John there. And this is Michael, you guys know from the channel. We had him uh, on the channel a couple times in the last year, and he's been playing a bunch of amateur events. He's thinking about turning pro soon. He has the US Amateur Qualifying coming up as his next event. John was in the final eight of the US Amateur? Qu Quarterfinals in yep. 1983. Mike has a similar problem to what you see a lot of people, especially into the release. So just kind of a pick, pick, uh, catch us up to what Mike was doing before and then what you guys are working on now, John. So, uh, so Michael's uh, a little steep coming down in transition. So we want to try and flat, flatten that out a little bit. Um, he had some concerns like most people would about having the club face more open, like very skyward right here. And uh, most people will feel like they're going to have to uh, throw their hands at it and use more of a swingers release with all this roll. But what we can actually do is that we can, we can uh, close the club face with the rotation of our body like this, so that we come through and we're hitting it like this and not throwing the hands. You'll notice that I'm gonna stop just after impact here and, and we can see that that club face is still looking at the target. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do that one more time from that angle. You'll be able to see it a little bit better here. Okay, so I come in here I'm wide open with a club face, open, and I'm gonna be, okay? Look where that club, right? Where that club face is at, okay? So Michael's, right, very rolled over, so his arm is straightening. He's using his right arm to, to close the club face. Golf shot wise, why is, it, why is it bad or problematic to be so rolled over? Well, because you've got a lot of timing, okay? You've got all this timing of the club face going from, from open to then hitting the ball and rolled over. So we've got to try and time this. If we're very, very difficult to, to time this kind of release, much more reliable to have a, a body driven release where we're closing it with the torso rotation. Boom. Yeah. Okay. So that's basically what we're going to do with Michael. Um, he's swinging also a six degree flat one iron here or as a training club, but that'll naturally help him get the club moving more behind his body. Yeah, that looks good. So you know his swing. So we're gonna, he's, we're talking about cupping that wrist. We're gonna go ahead, go ahead and set up. And we want you coming back in here with the wrist cupped, because that's gonna open the face. Right? And then we're gonna come through, hands down lower here. And then we're gonna come through level with the shoulder, gonna strike the ball, move around and keep that club face looking at the target before it then releases much later. So he's gonna hit a couple little shot, little half swings here. Yeah. Sounded great. Let me Sounded good, didn't it? On, Still a little bit of a roll. No, it, that's much, much better. You're gonna see that when you look at it. So then just, just keep, keep working on that and get so that you know, you're hitting a one iron here, right? That's the hardest club to hit in, the, in golf. So just go ahead and keep making good contact with that short, aggressive going through. Yeah, very good, very good. And Mike usually has a really uh, kind of buckling and soft left knee, mm -hmm. but there it's posting. Because he's turning more level, right? Yeah. He's turning more level. But, but it, look, it looks really good. Yeah, level. very, very good, very good. I really like that. Now, how would, because I could see Mike doing this with like a short swing, but then once it goes long, the shaft would almost get overcharged and pass itself. And then, well, so how do you do it from a, from you, a further back? You just, you just go gradual, you know? You just take that half swing until you're getting good contact, then you just go a little bit more. And then when, when I uh, noticed Michael's swings in the past, you know, he has a tendency to get that left arm up pretty high. You know, I like it really on the shoulder line where most of the great strikers would have it, like Hogan and Mo and everybody would have that left arm on the shoulder line. He's a little bit here. So there's a tendency to, if you rotate level, then the club can tend to come out over the top a little bit and hit a pull shot. So 
flattening out, you know, a little flatter gear would help, you know, maybe just flatten the clubs out a little bit and, and work a little bit more around would be a good thing. So we're basically trying to keep the club face uh, more open, more skyward, and then we're going to release right there. Can we go out on the deck and see a couple with ball fight? Yeah. And then maybe try to build one up? Yeah, with uh, Michael? Sure. Yeah, yeah, of course. So he was saying, so my concern originally was a little bit too much of a cupping. So I have a, so I kind of fell in love with the idea of having like a really square left wrist. And that kind of led me to being, that led me to being higher in the swing versus like how I used to swing, which was opening it up with a little cup in it. But I think, it, no, I think that was good. I like the way you're mind. probably doing yeah. it before. Yeah. I mean, that's how I swing. I'm hitting the ball fine. I got a cup. Yeah. Is that flatter already? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yep. Pretty nice shot. Yeah. A little fade on it. And I just got to rotate harder to get. Just for now, now, now do the same thing and rotate harder. And that'll bring that ball flight from the right. It's going to start working a little bit more. Uh, square. A little bit more square. But hitting it a little bit to the right is okay. Yeah. As long as you play for it. Yeah. So that's a pretty playable shot. You know, you might say, oh, I'm hitting those way right, but you can play that. I can adjust like you were talking. You about can adjust and play it, yeah. that. If that if that's what's happening, I mean, if that's what's happening, don't fight it. Play it. Yeah. And you know, like I said, Sam Sneed's thing. Dance with the gal you brought, you know. Brought the gal to the dance, dance with her, you know. Like, that's try it. to hit one only like you were hitting it into the net as far as like. Yeah, short. Shorter and oh, okay. more. Yeah, that little short. Uh, no more. Yeah, so in other words, oh. yeah, so we're going, yeah, uh, so we're going here, we're open, and that yeah. wrist is cupped here, in inside, low, okay, and then we're going to come the inside, we're going to rotate, square up the club face, and you're going to be here before it then moves okay. over. So we're like here, yeah, so it's a little half swing, but hit hard, yeah. short back swing, but hit hard. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Beautiful. Just nice and hard. Good. Now see how that ball's going to the right of where you think? Yeah. But that's okay. You can adjust, yeah. You know, you can adjust. And and uh, as you as you work into that, as your swing, you know, you, you start getting a little bit longer with the swing. It'll start, the more flat and the more level, you'll start pulling that vector. This way, we'll start going like this. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. So that's, again, talking about alignment. Yeah. You know, alignment is, is what? I'm set up, and, I, and if my target is here, it's like, oh, I'm too far left. Okay, well, I'll just hit it over there, you know? Yeah. Or, gee, I'm, uh, I'm, I feel like I'm square right at it. Boom, I'm going to hit it right at it. Or yeah. I feel like I'm a little bit... A little bit right of my target okay well now I'm gonna draw it back to my target so you don't really have to worry that much about where you're set up Lee Trevino was probably the best at that he would just kind of step into it he would just go like make it make it happen right yeah so I mean he wasn't sitting there like looking at the back I had a player was looking at the back of his heels trying to like <laughs> you know and all that kind of stuff so you say oh there's my target you know, I want to hit a little fade. I just, if I'm going to hit a fade, I got to make sure I'm left. Better to be way left. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to make sure that I step into that left fade. And if I'm too far left, well, I can drop it in and, and hit a, hit a push cut out yeah. there. And, and I'm going to feel all this stuff quickly. Like I'm playing tennis, the ball's coming at you. You don't have time. To, active, you know, yeah. I, boom, I got to get the racket on it. So we want to get golf to be more automatic feeling, you know. Yeah. Now, if I feel like I'm a little bit to the right, it's like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw this in. I want to draw it in, but it doesn't really matter. My way right or a little bit right. If I'm, if I feel like I'm way right, I gotta draw it more. But knowing that I have to draw it more, I'm gonna shorten my backswing because the draw is gonna create a longer shot. Yeah. So 
I'm going to aim right, shorten my backswing, and be just as aggressive, but I'm not going to hit it as far because I have a shorter backswing, right? So all this stuff about club selection and all that, ultimately, at the highest level of golf, we, we need to feel the game. You know, I'm sure on like your home course that you know the course and it's windy and you know, okay, yeah, you know, and it's like this, you don't need to be stepping off yardages and all that. You know, you just know. Yeah. And you know that for this shot, that's what you hit. Oh, and the wind's like this from left to right and the pin's back there. I know that this is the shot that I hit. And I tease her a little bit up or whatever. I'm gonna hit a six iron, a five iron or whatever. And you just lay into that thing. Oh, I'm a little bit too far right, but I'm gonna uh, have to hit a harder draw in there. So I'll take a little bit off it, not because I slow down my swing, but because I shorten my backswing. And just hit that thing in there. There we go, that's it. That's the one. Well, I love that ball flight. Yeah. That's fantastic.